Hi there, we're going to take a look in this video at linear demand functions. So the demand curve or the demand function for a product or good or service can be written in the form of an equation. Here's an example. Uh, QD equals A minus BP. So QD is the quantity demanded for a product. A is a constant and that's determined by the non-price factors that affect demand. For example, uh, the price of a substitute product, the price of a complement and also, of course, crucially, the real income of consumers. And P is the price of the product. So, for example, uh, we might write the equation as the demand for product Y, dy, equals 200 minus 4P. And so that tells us, for example, if the market price for Y is £40, then putting that uh, figure into the equation, the quantity demand will be 200 minus 4 times 40, 160, equals 40. If the price is £40, consumers will be buying 40 units of Y. However, if the market price of Y falls, other factors remaining the same, keeping our demand function in the same format, then quantity demand will be 200 minus 4 times 20, which is 80, which gives 120. In other words, a fall in the market price causes an expansion of quantity demanded. Now, crucially, let's look at how what happens if prices change and things. The demand is a good example. The demand for takeaway pizzas is assumed to be 500 minus 5p. P is the price of pizza in dollars. Initially, the business sets a price of $20 for a pizza. So putting the data in there, that means that the demand will be 400 units per day at $20. But following a rise in costs, the pizza company decides to increase their price to $25. Other conditions of demand remaining the same, ceteris paribus. So now pizza is $25 instead of 20 So now if, uh, to work out demand, it's 500 minus 5 times 25. That's 500 minus 125, which means that if the price of pizza goes up to $25, the quantity demand will fall to 375 from 400. Now you can of course work out the elasticity if you want to do by working out the percentage change in price, 25% uh, increase in price and the percentage change in demand. But we've shown here how a higher market price in this case for pizza causes a contraction of demand. Perhaps people are substituting away from pizza towards relatively cheaper products. We can also use linear demand functions to show the effect of a change in a non-price factor. Okay, let's go back to our original demand function for pizza from the last slide. There's our quantity demanded, 500 minus 5p. And at $20, we, people are buying 400 units per day, as before. Now we're going to make a change. We're going to increase the real income of consumers, so perhaps a tax cut or an increase in wages. And as a result, we're going to say now people are going to buy uh, 800 minus five times the price. So people have more real income. Effectively, their budget line has shifted out. They can now afford to buy more. And that's effectively going to cause a shift in demand, isn't it? At $20, keep the price constant. Demand is now going to be 800 minus five times 20. That's 700. In other words, a big rise in income has caused uh, an outward shift in the market demand for pizza. We can also, uh, finally, in this little video, look at the changes in the coefficient. In other words, the, the sensitivity of demand to the price. Let's go back to our original uh, equation, 500 minus 5p. Let's go back to that. Makes life easy, doesn't it? And if we told the price of P is $20, then quantity demand is 400 Now, what happens if we change the coefficient of P in the equation? It's going to affect the steepness of the demand curve. Let it now be 8p instead of 5p. In other words, demand will fall by 8 times the price as the price changes. So put the numbers in at a price of $20. Now, quantity demanded is 500 minus 8 times 20, which is 160. 500 minus 160 is 340. So a change in the coefficient of elasticity, effectively a change in the elasticity of the demand curve affects quantity demanded. So there we go. There's a quick introduction to how you can use linear demand functions. We're going to have a separate topic video on linear supply functions. And then we have another video putting them together to show equilibrium in the market and changes in equilibrium price and quantity.